All right. Now, what I would quite like is to kick this off with a very interesting keynote speech that I am quite excited about. So, ladies and gentlemen, I know it's a bit early in the morning, but do your applause. What I'd like to do is welcome on stage um, the director of the Federation of Home Automation, Mr. Benoit. Please give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. There he is. Well done. And he's going to be talking to you about smart technologies. Thank you, Mr. Benoit. Um, I think everything's ready for you. Take it away. Good morning, everybody. Can you hear me? That's better now. OK. Yeah, come on. There are plenty of rooms uh, in the front. So for the next 15 minutes, I'm going to give you an overlook of the uh, smart home um, sector and, and what are the challenges for 2015. So um, as Isham said, I'm the administrator of uh, the French Federation of Smart Homes. So we have more than 200 members. Um, half of them are integrators, and the rest of them are uh, uh, retailers, uh, telcos, um, energy operators, um, OEMs, and insurance companies, uh, and um, well, different types of profile. Um, and I work as, a, as an expert in this environment, so I'm going to give you um, an outlook for that. Uh, before we start, oops. Um, I'm going to give you a quick definition of smart home. It's very important because you have two types of uh, products for, for smart home. The, the first uh, definition is about single point solutions. Um, with single point solution, you have a vertical uh, environment where you can, uh, for like uh, you know the Sonos equipment, for instance, so you can have the entertainment. Uh, you can also with, uh, control your, your own lights with some LEDs from uh, Philips or LG or you know, other manufacturers. You can do the same with the heating and the cooling. You can do the same with the um, alarm systems and also with video cameras and the blind controls. But for each application, you have a dedicated application. So if you want to have all those features, you'll need to have probably uh, three, five, six applications on your smartphone to control those uh, features, okay? Um, the difference is with the multi-point solution um, is that you, all the features are interoperable. So you can, uh, uh, with the, a single interface, you can control um, your lights, your blinds, your heating system, your video cameras, and everything. So everything works all together. So keep in mind that there, for smart home, you, know, that you have two categories, the single point solutions, very vertical, very dedicated, but for one feature. And then you have the multiple solution where you're going to control um, different elements. So let's have a look uh, uh, on the market. So we have, for smart home, because that exists for more than two decades from now, um, what I call the legacy players. Those comes from the electricity uh, industry. You have some famous names like Schneider, Legrand, uh, Siemens, Bosch, and so on. And you have also some uh, people from the, uh, from the IT as well, you know, with uh, uh, Wi-Fi routers, um, IP cameras, and so on. And then you have also some uh, players that are coming mainly from the, from the US, um, like uh, RTI, Amex, uh, Crestrons, which are you know, high-end solutions to, uh, to control um, your uh, smart home um, equipment. And then you have uh, some publishers. Uh, in different environments, it can be uh, on, under the Apple environment, under the Windows environment, or the, on the um, Android environment. You have more than 50 uh, software publishers. Um, no, no big names at the moment, those are more uh, small publishers. And then you have uh, well, more than a thousand integrators. Those are more the uh, uh, European numbers. I don't know the, the, the numbers for the Middle East but there are probably a hundred of them uh, in the region. 
Um, for the end user, if he wants to be equipped with uh, a smart home system, uh, it's going to be quite painful um, with uh, those kind of solutions because he can go and discover uh, uh, things on the internet, uh, go on some blogs, look at some advertising, go to some exhibitions, uh, meet some influencers, uh, have a look on the uh, on a business uh, directory, but all the content is going to get is pretty technical. Um, so it's not going to be easy uh, for uh, an end user to really understand uh, what are the benefits and how he's going to to set it up. So if he wants to be uh, installed with a smart home solution, then he has two options. He can do it himself. So he can go to a, a DIY retail shop, or he can go on the uh, online portal. But this is going to be complex. And this is the, uh, the picture here on the left, that way, sorry. Uh, and you see this is pretty ugly. Uh, this is more for a, a geek uh, person. Otherwise, um, if it's too complex for him, then he can use a professional, an integrator. Uh, or an expert who's going to purchase uh, to a reseller or to a distributor. But at the end, for the end customer, this is going to be pretty expensive because uh, that requires some time, some level of expertise, okay? But at the end, you have something which is really professional, very sexy, and that works. But now, things are changing. There are a lot of new players that are coming. Some of them you might know. Uh, one of the famous one is Nest, that has been purchased, acquired by Google uh, almost two years from now. Um, this is a, a thermostat, uh, intelligent thermostat, that can control uh, entirely your home for the heating and the cooling system. But they're not the only ones. They, you have also alternative solutions like Netatmo, for instance. Um, you have also some uh, uh, ring, intelligent ring bell, like the, 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 ring, uh, the ring product. And then you have also some home automation boxes. There are plenty of them now. There are more than 20 designs around the world. Um, and with a box, you can control uh, entirely your home. It's, uh, it's like a mini computer, and it has different uh, protocols that are embedded, wireless controls, uh, wireless protocols, but also wired protocols for home automation. And then you can do all the features that I've described for security, comfort, um, energy consumption, and so on. So there will be more and more. Uh, there are different alliances uh, across, uh, across the world. Um, one of the famous ones is um, All Seen. They have more than the 200 or 300 members in order to be interoperable. You have also um, Apple with HomeKit that is pushing also a lot in order to make all those products interoperable. The advantage with uh, those new players is that the, the, the content they are pushing to the end user is much more appealing. It's not anymore a technical um, uh, speech. It's about you know the benefits uh, for the for the end user. I took the example of the Fibaro uh, homepage. Fibaro is a is a Polish um, equipment manufacturer that is uh, promoting you know smart home equipment across uh, Europe. They are pretty uh, successful, especially in the UK, but in in France, in Germany, also they are pushing a lot. And for the end user, there. Um, two options to, to be equipped. So if you have a profile of uh, a person who, who thinks he's able to install himself the equipment, um, so it's a, a do-it-yourself approach, is going to purchase you know, a plug-and-play solution, um, you know, like video cameras or alarm systems or, um, you know, uh, uh, Pretty, uh, pretty simple approach. But if the consumer then 
would, would like to have something that is a, a global multipoint solution, then um, it needs still to, to, to use a professional um, in order to do the, the integration. But uh, with those solutions, they are much more competitive than the previous ones. Um, and this is uh, really an opportunity for the retailers um, to put in place you know, some new level of services. Uh, I'm working already with some retailers in Europe uh, to think about you know, how we can implement uh, services uh, for the end customers. So it's not just selling you know, a product on the shelf that the customer can pick up and install by himself. Uh, there are some products that can do that, but in terms of features, they are, being, they are going to be limited. But if a customer would like to uh, purchase uh, a brand A, then a brand B, and a brand C, and so on, and make them uh, working all together with a single interface, then you need uh, some level of integrations. And this is uh, really an opportunity for retailers um, to jump into this business, uh, put in place some... Uh, some level of services that are not too complex and, and, and deliver that to the uh, end customer so that you can go to, uh, to your store and, and look for uh, you know, a smart home solution that, he can, uh, that, can, that can be uh, affordable for him. So if you want to know more, because I've got only uh, 15 minutes for, uh, f for, the, for the speech, um, I have a um, a workshop session at uh, 2 p.m. at uh, the uh, Alrim A uh, room, which is uh, on the right side uh, of this floor. Uh, we'll go more in details, and uh, it will be uh, a, a very interactive session. Uh, I think we have more than 23 attendees have, who have registered, but there are still some rooms, so you're, you're welcome to join me at uh, 2 p.m., and uh, within 13 minutes, we will have more uh, more time to, to go in more details and, and I will be able to um, answer your, your concerns or your questions if you want to know more about uh, Smart Home and what we're trying to do also in, in, in Europe. So maybe uh, there are things that, are, that can be uh, cut and paste also for, for this region. Thank you very much.